This special edition of Living Oklahoma is sponsored by Oklahoma Proton Center. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. 32,000 Americans die every year from this disease. Yeah, but there are some incredible stories of survival. They all begin with early detection, and that means getting tested. Today, Fox 25's Wendy Suarez shares a story of a survival from a powerful voice from the pulpit. Promotional consideration for the following is provided by the Oklahoma Proton Center. He's a powerful voice from the pulpit and a strength to so many. But Pastor E. Jennings Tyson was brought to his knees hearing his diagnosis. I don't think that anyone is ready to hear the word cancer on any given day. Prostate cancer kills nearly 32,000 Americans a year, but early screening saves lives. Pastor Tyson said he felt fine, but he never skipped his annual checkup. PSA blood tests revealed the cancer in March of 2019. His urologist watched it closely for one year. He said, it's, it's something, we need to do something now. We don't need to just sit and wait any longer. Thanks to that early detection, Pastor Tyson had not just a better chance of survival, he had several good choices. The earlier we catch it, the more options there are to treatment. Oncologists at the Oklahoma Proton Center stay on top of the very latest prevention and screening information for all the most deadly forms of cancer. Let's start with prostate cancer. Men, you should start getting those PSA tests. That's prostate specific antigen between the age of 50 and 55. Also at the age of 50, we should all be getting our first colonoscopy. To prevent colorectal cancer, you should also focus on maximizing your fiber intake. For breast cancer, there have been some mixed recommendations for women in recent years, but the best data now supports getting mammograms starting at age 40. That practice saves the most lives. Lung cancer is the biggest killer, causing 142,000 deaths a year. We know to stop smoking to prevent it. And if you're over 50 and you smoked for 20 years, you should get a CT scan rather than a chest X-ray. Now what we found is just a low energy, low radiation dose CT scan has been able to catch a lot more of the early stage cancers. If you have a family history or other risks, you may need to begin your cancer screenings much sooner. Pastor Tyson ultimately chose proton therapy to treat his prostate cancer. He completed 28 treatments over the summer. I could not hit the panic button, but I, I started hitting the prayer button, and now I'm hitting the praise button. And is now focused on getting the message out, particularly to African-American men, don't wait until something's wrong to see a doctor. That's the key, number one, having a good uh, primary doctor. Now a more powerful witness to those he serves, having lived through cancer and is now thriving thanks to his faith and staying faithful to those screenings. That was Winnie Suarez reporting. Now, Pastor Tyson is a member of the Fight Club, and you can be a member as well. Those battling cancer are invited to join these fighters who understand what they are dealing with every day. Yes, and for those who want to support family and friends can join the Fight Club as well. To find out more, just head to ProtonFightClub.com. It's all about knocking out cancer. For half of a century, proton therapy has been used to save lives. But not everyone knows how it works and what it means in the fight against cancer. Yeah, so Living Oklahoma takes you inside Oklahoma Proton Center, where saving lives is their mission. Hi, my name is David Robach, and I want to welcome you here to the Oklahoma Proton Center, one of the state-of-the-art cancer centers in all of the United States. We're really excited to have you join us here today. We want to show you around the facility and take you on a journey that you or a loved one might go through as a patient. Just a few fun facts about the Oklahoma Proton Center. It's one of just 35 proton centers in all of the United States. We offer state-of-the-art cancer treatment for a variety of different cancers, such as head and neck, lung, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and many more. This facility opened in 2009 and has treated over 3,500 cancer patients from across the United States today. So let's come on and take a look at the facility. 
The first part of a patient's journey would start right here in a consult room. It's here where you would meet with a doctor and that doctor would explain to you the benefits of proton therapy for your particular diagnosis. And what they might do is show you a comparative treatment plan where they look at the radiation that can be delivered with x-ray radiation treatment versus the radiation that can be delivered with proton therapy treatment. The benefits of protons are that they are more precise and so you get less radiation exposure to healthy tissue and critical organs. Once a patient has made the decision to move forward with the treatment, we need to acquire images of the tumor that we can use to develop a treatment plan. We do that using this treatment planning CAT scan. During the CAT scan process, we will also create immobilization devices that you can see here. These devices help a patient stay still during treatment. And what we're actually gonna go see next is a treatment room. So come on. That humming you may hear in the background is the sound of the gantry, which is what I'm standing in right now. This device weighs 120 tons and is actually three stories tall. We have the ability to rotate this snout here 360 degrees around this tabletop. The table itself also moves up and down and can pivot in a complete 360 degree circle. That allows us to precisely pinpoint exactly where we want to shoot the beam of protons into the patient's body. The treatment itself only takes about 20 or 30 minutes. Once the treatment is done, the patient's able to leave the facility and continue on about their day. Unlike traditional radiation that uses photons, we actually use protons to treat cancer. You may be asking yourself, where do those protons come from? Well, we actually start with hydrogen gas that may come in a canister similar to this. What we do is we actually separate the protons and the electrons that make up that gas, and the protons are fed into a cyclotron. The cyclotron is actually a particle accelerator that accelerates the protons to two-thirds the speed of light. From there, they travel down a beam line at the back side of this facility into the treatment room where they're delivered into the patient. We want to thank you so much for joining us on this tour of the Oklahoma Proton Center. If you have any questions about proton therapy and whether or not it might be right for a treatment for you or a loved one, give us a call or visit our website at www.okcproton.com. Oklahoma Proton Center is located at 5901 West Memorial Road in Oklahoma City. You can call them at 405-773-6700. You can also check them out online at okcproton.com.